Anybody else? They have been talking to each other all day long. Here's a video a lot of you guys have been waiting for. <clears throat> and let me get a cup of coffee. Something I have been working on all day. So um, a couple of things came to light as I was doing Darcy's feet. Come to find out, not only did he have ring bone, low or high ring bone, he started getting low ring bone. One of his joints were fused. The other one was very much on its way to being fused. And he had navicular disease in both of his feet. How can I tell? Well, I will show you. This is a navicular bone. Isn't it cute? It looks like a little tiny, you know, little mouth. It's kind of happy. But that, that's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to, this little bone is supposed to look like that. It's not supposed to have this little handle on it. That's one, and you can see that. And the other one, let's see, I'll make sure I put this back here. The other one looks like that. It's pretty bad. So, it's a cute little bone. I like it. What does it do? I have no idea. But you got one. People have navicular bones. It's right on the top of your foot. So if you go, well, I'll show you my foot. It's right there. <laughs> yes, I'm still in my pajamas. But your navicular bone is right here on your foot, right? And where all those tendons are, that's where a bone like this sits, kind of like that. Doesn't, it's not the same shape as this, but you guys get the point. Today is Memorial Day weekend. I am comfortable. <laughs> don't hate because I get to be in my pajamas and you don't. <laughs> anyway, oh, whew. anyway, I want to bring you out and I want to show you Friday because I got, oh gosh, oh heavens to Betsy. Um, because the rest of uh, Darcy's bones have been all cleaned up and I want to show you uh, a little bit of what's going on. So what better way to show you but on a live horse. So let's go over and see Friday. Hi Friday. Hi. The YouTubers want to say hi to you. Can we do that? Can we do that? Will you come and say hi? Oh, say hi. Good job. Hi. <laughs> so, um, people who do not know him, this is Friday. And yes, that's his name. Kind of goes after the whole Iron Man thing. We had a white one that kind of looked like that, but um, he died very suddenly well not really yeah really suddenly anyway anyway um but this is friday and friday was our last rescue and he was a rescue after darcy died so the bones that i'm going to show you are of mr darcy and this is a picture of mr darcy so he's pretty cool he's awesome i found out a lot about him at the very end of his life, unfortunately. Um, but I'm not gonna make that mistake again with him. And he has gotten so big and so fat, it's great. Um, his top line is really starting to come in now. I mean, you can see it, it's really starting to come in. And it's looking great. But, okay, so now that I'm off, off topic. Friday, we're gonna look at your feet, okay? Can I do that while you eat? Okay. So, when um, Darcy passed away, <clears throat> we were at the veterinarian's office. And they have been treating Mr. Darcy for ring bone for a long time. Ring bone and um, nerve issues and um, let's see, what else? He had uh, Cushing's disease. So he had a lot going on and he was a trooper. Excuse me, sir. I'm right here. You know that. He's like, you're in my space. 
Yeah, I know. I'm here. <laughs> you can go the other way. <laughs> Come on, move your foot. He's like, he wants me to move. He's like, I don't want you being right here talking to me like this. So, Dr. L Too close. <laughs> Dr. Lepresti was really, really super sweet. And she um, cut off his feet. So, she cut them off about here. Okay. So, I want to show you the anatomy on the horse. So, this, these are his knees, basically. This is a cannon bone right here. This long one. And then there is a short pastern bone here. I mean a long pastern bone that goes down to here. There's a short pastern bone here and then there's a uh, navicular bone. <laughs> there's a navicular bone back here and then inside the hoof is the coffin bone. Doesn't make any sense does it? <laughs> so these are the knees. This is cannon bone all of this big long fat bone this is a cannon bone which goes into the long navicular bone the short navicular bone the coffin bone is inside there so now that you know and now that you see what it looks like you give him a belly rub he said yeah he's a good boy he says yeah go away <laughs> all right welcome to the <laughs> The tack room that is unfinished currently. <laughs> so I have over here set up a something that you guys usually don't see on YouTube because you never get to see the whole background stuff. You just see the, ah, the nice stuff. All right, so this is the inside of what I just showed you. And here is the knee. Well, there's those bones too, and they kind of go stacked up on top of this. So, but the bones are like this. And, oh, look at this. Somebody bought a nose band. Huh, I love it. Okay, thank you, eBay. Whoever just bought that drop nose band on eBay, I hope you're watching this video. Thank you. <laughs> um, so anyway, this is uh, the bone. This is cannon bone. Yeah, let me put that back. This is the cannon bone that I showed you. That's a oh, I forgot to figure out what those were. So on Friday, this is the front. That's the back, okay? This is the long pastern bone. This is the short pastern bone. This is the coffin bone that sits inside the hoof. Okay? And then this is that navicular bone I was telling you about that's in the back, that sits in the back. So if you can imagine all of this, this way. That's the leg. And this is Darcy's. So I'm sure you can look at this and go, wait, this doesn't look right at all. This doesn't, this doesn't look pretty. This doesn't look nice and nice and smooth. There's bumps here, see? There's bumps and there's ridges and there are protrusions that don't look like they need to be there. There are what looks like a bone spur right there in the knee. And as we go down, now we have some more problems. Now we knew he had high ring bone, but this looks like it could also have been a little bit of maybe arthritis starting to set in. But look at this. This is what ring bone looks like. Can you imagine having this on your skin and only having tendons to cover this and skin? There are no muscle, there's no muscle covering any of this stuff. So as you're brushing, as your farrier is grabbing the feet, this is, this is what they feel. There's tendons that run through here, that run through the back. So I'll show you. The tendons, they run up the back. From here, this is the, um, oh crap, what's it called? It's the major tendon that runs up the back of the leg. It's like a tendon in your, your thumb. And it runs up through here. It's supposed to run through here. This is not supposed to be here. Remember, this is supposed to be all nice and smooth and flat. But it, the bone has grown up over it. And so the tendon had to run up through here and up 
and it goes up, 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 all the way up to the knee. Okay. So this is not supposed to be here. How is that tendon supposed to get through all of this, right? Look at that. There's no way. The tendon attaches here in the back. And that's, you can see that here, all those little lines. That's where the, the tendon attaches. So, but look at that. That's not supposed to be there either. That, okay, so a tendon attaches all the way up here, but look, that sits right in there. And that is getting pinched every single time it stands. It goes right up in there. So that's that, that's not supposed to be there not supposed to be there at all. So this was the side that was starting to uh, fuse. So let me put in an x-ray image and a picture of a radiograph of an x-ray of both of these feet so you can kind of see what I'm talking about at the viewpoint of the x-ray. interesting stuff huh so you saw the right hand and you saw the left hand and you saw that the the right hand was not fused and the left hand was fused and let me bring that back up again so you can kind of see what I'm talking about as far as fusing in the image you will see this bone and you'll be able to clearly see the line between the two right because this isn't fused yet this is still two separate bones but you won't see that here Okay, so let me let me show you that that uh, X-ray again, and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. All right, so now you know what I'm talking about. So now let me point out a couple of obvious things. These are his feet. These are his hooves. That's coffin bone, short navicular, long navicular, cannon. And this is uh, the knee stuff, which I'm actually gonna put this back, but check this out, isn't this neat? This is like really kind of cool. These are all the bones. They're held together by tendons, like all in there. It's all held together. This one is kind of like floppy. But this is, these are where tendons go through and veins go through. That's so when, I, when I'm showing you these holes that are in these, these bones, that's where the veins are. The veins go through this to, allow blood supply and then holes like this allow either um, major tendons or veins arteries to go up and through there so that sits like this that sits like this on top all right that sits like that there's usually your your cushion of your cartilage is sitting here and then the whole thing moves around so like there's another set of those that sit on top but they fall off a lot there it's not balanced like this so I'm not gonna show you so let me show you the wonderful look now they were all saying that um, Darcy's side this the side was nearly fused together and it was so he's sitting here like this all right so this is this is how it all sits together. This stays in focus, all right? So the coffin bone is there, the short navicular, the long navicular, or pastern, I'm sorry, past, short pastern, long pastern. So it sits like this inside the hoof capsule, like this. So it would kind of sort of look a little like that, <laughs> if you can imagine that, okay? And this all sits together like 
this, this is actually kind of nice. This nice and smooth. But this isn't supposed to be this way. Okay, this is low, low ring bone beginning. And this is extremely, extremely painful because there's a huge amount of blood vessels and a blood supply that coats the outside of this that allows this to adhere to the inside of the hoof wall. It's pretty kind of small, huh? Do you think about it? This little bone in comparison to his foot? But look! Haha, no, not on this one. This is the one that was in there. So, do you see something similar? Yeah, I'm gonna give you a second to take a look at it. Look at that crack. Look at that crack. Look at the divot in the bone. Okay, cracks are pretty bad when people aren't kinda, they're like, oh yeah, I got a crack, but it's not really that bad. Don't dig it out, blah, blah, blah. Well, check this out. Look inside, okay? This is where that crack is, right there, right there, and right there, okay? So this sits inside here, like as such. Actually, I don't know if I can even get it in because it, it's kind of, it's sat in there kind of wonky anyway, so there you go. So the bone sits in there like so, inside there and this is how it was sitting so you've got all all of this blood supply on the outside and as the hoof moves because it does it moves it goes like this and it acts like a, a heart in here to pump the blood supply up and out so if you've got all of this look at all this jagged everything on both sides that is constantly inside your foot, right? So now you've got this crack, this white line disease, and of course, you know, this looks worse than it did, you know, when he was alive because, you know, there's a little bit of shrinkage, everything dries out. He's been in the ground for a year. But you can see this. This was the crack that we were chasing when we first bought him. And I have a picture of it, I'll put that in. So when we bought him, that that notch was made by whoever the, his last farrier was. And as we actually would chase it, um, it actually did grow out to something like really small. It was like down here and it looked really amazing. So the coronary band would have been about here. But there's the, the bone there. So then all of this sits together. You have that there, like that, and like this, okay? So you see that, that piece of the coffin bone up in there sticking out? It's there. Now, here, it's nearly fused. Now look at those two pieces here, those two jagged pieces on the top, how it sits. You can't move. This is gonna be very painful as you move, okay? So this is, this is the leg, that's how it sits in there. Now can you imagine having all of this on the back of your own legs? This pinching in there, tendons trying to move and glide in and out of that little section that's got all those pieces in there. That is awful. This is just awful. So then you have, let me take this back out, there we go. So then you have this little guy. And this is my favorite bone. I think it's so cute. This is not supposed to look like this. Okay, so this is nice. This is not supposed to have this. It's supposed to look like that. That's what it's supposed to look like. Nice and neat, cute. This is what's called navicular disease. Okay, this is like, it's like ring bone. Okay, this is a growth. All right. And the way this sits, I'm gonna try to do this try to, to watch. The way this sits with all of this 
because it sits in the back behind this like that oops i think i have it upside down hold on this goes in there like so i want to make sure i get the right one for the right foot i should be able to see all this all right so this is how it sits so if you have navicular disease as your horse is moving or trying to move because this this rotates like this this is now going down into tendons and it's hitting the coffin bone so now you've got bone on bone and it's just it's just awful. This is where most of your lameness occurs, is right here, with the little navicular bone. So, <clears throat> let me show it to you on the other one. This one, it's actually quite pretty. This is all the calcified bone on that This is hard as a rock. That's the bone, short pasture and bone. You can see it here. That's where it was, the joint is. There's a tendon that's supposed to glide up and out of all this hard, jetted. This, this feels like coral. If you've ever been at the beach or felt coral, that's what this feels like. It's very, very rough, very jagged, very pointy. This is just, I can't believe that he actually lived with this. So this is going down the bottom. And then this sits in here. So he wasn't, as you can see, this does not have ring bone, low ring bone. This is starting to, to get it. So you see the difference between the two? See all the, the, the built up right here? This is not supposed to be there. Okay, so this, this actually happened after we did those radiographs in 2020. So, there you go. So this sits like that. And now he can't move this joint. So when the farrier grabs this foot here because he's going to grab it here to pick up your foot right he's putting and and mind you there's no muscle underneath here there's just skin and tendons so your farrier is grabbing your horses by the foot here to lift it up and most of the time they just let this part sag right there's no way there's he can't do that because this this only goes like that this doesn't really it doesn't there's not a lot of mo mobility there so he's got all this pressure that's being between the the farrier's legs up up in here can you imagine how painful that was can you just imagine i mean just imagine you probably can't i can't i can't fathom how awful how much this would hurt. There's your navicular bone. And that's how it sits in here. You see, I'm trying to do this and look at, make sure I'm in here. So there, oops, it's upside down. Come on, you get in the right side up. There we go. Right side up. So it sits in there like so. Oop, don't fall. Anyway, you get the point, okay? The point being, is that this this is not good so when this now mind you this is an advanced stage massively advanced stage so when the vet takes an x-ray they're gonna see maybe a little bit of this maybe a tiny bit you know maybe a little bit over here and they're gonna tell you hey your horse has got ring bone now you know what it looks like now you know what that looks like, right? 
This probably would have been fused together. These two pieces, as you can see, they're very close together like that, see? They would have grown together very soon because that's where, that's pretty much where it was. It was like that. So he would have had, oops, sorry. Here, let's try that again. It would have grown together like so, okay? intense. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you this one more time. This is really kind of cool. All these different holes where the blood vessels go in and out of. So what I'm going to do is um, I need to get in touch with Davie County Large Animal Hospital and I need to find out who they have as a contact that puts all of these together where he they can use this as a uh, example, a real life example, just like what I'm doing with you guys, to show other people that inside this radiograph, this inside this x-ray, this is what it looks like for real. This is what it looks like for real. This poor horse, he could move his front leg, but he couldn't move this very much, you know? That's where it goes, just like that. So your farrier is grabbing the horse's foot, trying to do this. Grab it like that. This, that part doesn't move. It just doesn't move. Here's what this looks like in the daylight. It's kind of hard to see in the, in the tack room. But um, I hope you guys were able to learn something. I hope this was educational. And um, it is actually quite a beautiful structure on how this all grows. But this is awfully painful. Awfully, awfully painful. It's just terrible. So guys, I hope you learned something. You know what? Come here, I have an idea. Come here Friday, I need you again. <laughs> We're gonna do one more thing and set this in stone so everybody knows. Yeah? I wanna show you something. YouTubies need to see this, okay? I know, I don't have a treat for you. I should have brought treats. Uh, you know, say hi again. He says hello. Okay, so here's the bone I was telling you about. He can stay put. I need you to stay put. I know. I know. So here it is. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, he says nope. Friday, stand still, please. Stand still. So there you go. It's that part right there. Well, maybe a little bit lower. There you go. So that's, that's how it sits. This is, it looks so much smaller compared to him. His bones are huge, but this sits kind of like that. I hope that made sense. <laughs> kind of neat, huh? Seems so small. He had such big legs. <laughs> it seems so tiny, but he's much bigger boned than, than Darcy was. And uh, yeah. Very interesting, very good information. And um, do your homework, ask your veterinarian about stuff like this. Even if you have a, a horse and say, hey, you know, what does is, what is ringbone really look like? This is what it looks like. It's kind of neat. So I'm gonna go inside you guys. It is supper time for me. I've already fed these guys, so they don't need to eat anymore. As you can see, Friday made a little bit of a mess. <laughs> he made a mess. And uh, I gotta go feed the dogs. Husband is almost done mowing, so he's gonna wanna eat. He hasn't eaten all day. So we'll see you next time. Hopefully you found this information a little valuable and uh, pass it along. Take, uh, feel free to download the video, take snips of it, and 
you know, chop me out. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hitting that like. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Uh, YouTube loves all of that stuff. Thank you for those silly little videos that pop up the commercials in, in all of this video. And uh, we'll see you next time. Summerfield Farm and the big guys. <laughs> Draft horses.